Yes, we're at Unicoi State Park and Lodge. Uh, we got here last night, um, but it was kind of sprinkling and raining, so we didn't get to get out much and enjoy it uh, like we usually would. Um, but it's a beautiful day today. It's close to the end of April. Uh, we were getting stir crazy, so we had to get out. Most of the trails in North Georgia are closed, but the state parks in Georgia are open. So we decided to come up here. We're still in the mountains. So it's as close as we could get, but we're going to enjoy the state park and see what we can do today. Hey Rachel, why don't you uh... Tom Sawyer my way across the lake? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and do it. I need to get it to that part. I bet you won't, I bet you won't get on it and swim over there to the dock with them people. I bet it would hold me. <laughs> <laughs> it might. I mean it's staying afloat pretty well. See they got the, the other end long right there to keep it from tipping. That's why it's long on this side. You can hold on to that side and push us. No, I'm not, a, I'm not a boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a boat motor. <laughs> not today. Anyway, maybe if it gets warm, I'll jump in there and try. <laughs> but it's too cold right now. I have never seen a brown thresher that looked like that. <laughs> That's our state bird, by the way. What if and we find out some kid drew that? Oh. <laughs> We're trashing it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. Oh my god. Did it? No, I thought, oh. it was, <laughs> I thought it was a kid organization. Well, if you were a kid and you drew that, good job. But if not, then you should probably be fired. <laughs> <laughs> So I remember uh, it was about what, what about two three years ago, Rachel. Yeah, we were uh, about two summers ago. Maybe that. Who knows? Yeah. Might have been a little longer, but we were coming through here, and I heard a um, a buzzing sound, and it sounded exactly like a huge beehive, and it started getting louder and louder, and I thought, you know, okay, you were, I was lo looking up in the tree. Me, I was like, like I was like, wait, 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 <laughs> and I was sitting there like, I thought, run? I was like, I thought we like stirred up some bees or something, and. All of a sudden, we hear a uh, a crash. We're like, <laughs> and there's something falling from the sky. We're like, what in the world? And we go running way up that hill, and it was. We probably went to the top of that hill. It was and hard. <laughs> what did we find? It was a Huge pretty big drone. drone yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like in pieces. The wings were in pieces. Battery pack, camera, every different places. So we like collected it all. And I know you started talking to the camera like, hey, we found your drone. <laughs> we're going to go to the lodge. So, um, yeah, I told the camera we were going to take their drone back to the lodge. And by the time we went back, like back down that way is the, uh, like the beach area, I guess, where we just came from, the one of the main, uh, main lodges, one of the guest campers yeah. check-in because there's like a the huge, yeah, the visitor, visitor lodge. But uh, we came, we run into there. And all of a sudden we see these kids come bolting down the trail and I was like, hey, did y'all lose a drone? <laughs> You're like, yeah, did you find it? And the thing was like, it was like $2,000. It was like an expensive <laughs> drone, but apparently it's got like a return home feature, but it doesn't calculate for the elevation. And so it just went straight into the yeah. trees trying to go back to them. Yeah, it hit it the, too far away. 
hit the treetops. But yeah. we got a picture of it and might find yeah. it. But it was pretty funny. Um, like the next day we were. Uh, we How done? Um, but the next day we were tubing down um, the river and those kids like this it like came out of nowhere and like hey y'all are the people that found our drill yeah but we there's like thousands them. of people in on that the river. middle of summer in helen yeah it gets super packed so it was weird that we ran into the kids again that's cool though how you like this park right Beautiful park. We Got stayed a lot here. To do. Yeah, we stayed here a lot um, over the years. I've been coming up here since I was a little kid, but we've come up here since since we've been together a couple of years, like six years. This is only our second time like camping here, though. Yeah, we used to just come up here and just while we're up here to spend the day and walk around. We got zip lining. You can rent like kayaks and stuff, fish. Yeah, they have yeah, uh, swimming swimming parts. I'm not exactly sure how many zip lines they have here, but like if you look up into the trees, you'll see like different little huts, and you can they take you up. And they have like a guided tour. I'm pretty sure it's around like with like ten at least. Yeah, at least lot. at least ten of them. Yeah. And you can buy the pass for it and all that. And if you buy the um, national park or um, state park yeah. pass, you can get like percentages off for the stuff around uh, that you can do here and all the other parts as well. Look how crazy this tree looks. This grew, it's like a, it looks like a python. <laughs> Just grew in a big loop and up and out. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I wonder if uh, there had to have been something blocking it, choking it, a vine or something when it was little and it just grew that way. And then someone came and cleared it out. Yeah. If they don't grow that way naturally, that's for sure. Yeah. It's like a big old snake, Rachel's favorite animal. Hey, uh -oh. that is too. Be careful. There's your work. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on down for you hurt yourself. So if you um, look off into the distance, that mountain right there. What mountain is that, Rachel? Yona Mountain. Yep, we've actually went to the top of that before. It's a really oh, fun hike. One of the really awesome hike. One of the best hikes here, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's pretty good. So if you ever uh, come up here and the trails are open, make sure they're open before you come up. Yeah, Definitely right hike to Yona Mountain. There's a little bald spot on the side of the mountain, right on this side. You can barely see it. That little white spot. You hike up to there and um actually on that side that's where the uh the uh, special forces come and do their like mountaineering training and stuff and they come up here and learn how to repel and mountain climbing up all that cool stuff that's really cool hike so hopefully by the time this video comes out we'll be towards the end of all the craziness going on um, but during that time what helped you keep your sanity did you find any new trails read any new books what'd you do we'd like to know so let us know in the comments we have uh, discovered some new trails in our area where we live. Um, we got out in a lot into, into nature, found new places to hike. Uh, we also started a garden. Well, I've kept a garden, but this year it's <laughs> massive. Um, and so just being outside has really helped us uh, just give peace to our minds and we got some chickens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we started chickens a little, are fun. <laughs> little mini farm. <laughs> yeah, a little a tiny the garden. beginner homestead, I guess. Yeah, but basically. It's helped us keep our peace and grow our minds, so that was fun. <laughs> so that's just one of many of the uh, zipline adventure things and that line goes out 
over the lake down there to the other side there's a platform on the other side over there but um there's probably I can't remember the exact number off the top of my head but I'm pretty sure there's at least 10 of these in this park I'll uh, I'll put it in the description but it looks pretty cool I can't wait to come back up here and do it every time we come it's either in the winter and they're closed or like right now no one's working it because the uh, COVID-19 virus going around those things look pretty cool they look like old silos or something but you can rent them out it's got like two stories in there it looks pretty neat um it'd be pretty cool to rent it out with a bunch of family and friends one day all right guys so that that was just a snippet of unicoi state park they've got so much to offer when everything's up and running uh there's just they have so many things if you're ever in the helen area and need somewhere to stay they've got lodge cabins little squirrel nest overhangs rv parking uh tent campsites they've got pretty much anything wherever you want to stay um we enjoyed our time today we did the lake loop trail and just enjoyed the nice spring air and sunshine and being out of the house um thank you for watching we hope you liked it please like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell